Hey, hey, fourth grade, fifth grade, sorry. Today we're looking at <coughs> all plants need food to survive. Plants get their energy from photosynthesis. Objective, you'll be able to state what plants need to survive and state what this process is called. You'll give a brief definition of this process. Read all dire directions. Read all directions before beginning. Follow along with me as I read the article, how plants make food. And then in the discussion, you've got the discussion question. You've got three things that you've got to tell me. You've got to tell me all three. And you've got to number your paper one, number two, number three, or number in the discussion. Uh, what do plants need to survive? What is the process called? And give a brief definition of what this process is called. Okay, so <coughs> here's our article. How plants make food. Plants, like all living things, this over here. Plants, like all living things, need food to survive. Plants make their food using a process called photosynthesis, which means putting together through light. During photosynthesis, the plant traps energy from sunlight in it with its leaves. It also takes up water from its roots and carbon dioxide gas from the air. The air uses the sun's energy to convert water and carbon dioxide into a sugary substance called glucose. Glucose is a very important word. It is um, uh, in the uh, it is a carbohydrate, and carbohydrate is one of the must know term. One of the must know terms for this unit. The plant uses the glucose as food to help it stay alive and grow. Other vocabulary words that you'll need: photosynthesis, convert. Convert just means change. Carbon dioxide, and then when it refers to air, <coughs> it's just oxygen. So we're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Uh, here at the bottom, water is absorbed. The roots suck up water and other nutrients from the soil. And then from there, the water continues to rise. It rises up through the stem. It carries nutrients that keep the plant healthy. The water also keeps the whole plant firm and upright. Without enough water, the plant gets floppy or wilts. Carbon dioxide. The leaves absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. During photosynthesis, oxygen is created. It escapes from the leaves and enters the air. Animals need oxygen to live. We're animals and we need oxygen to live. Okay, moving on up to the glucose. Glucose is the sugary food <coughs> the plant produces during photosynthesis. It uses it to stay alive and grow. The glucose is carried away from leaves to other parts of the plant. Plants use their leaves to make food. The plant's leaves act like solar panels, soaking up the sun's energy. The leaves contain a gray pigment called color, colored chemical, called chlorophyll, which is essential in this process. Chlorophyll is another essential word that you must know. And then water evaporates. Some water escapes or evaporates from the leaves. This makes the plant suck more water up from its roots, like someone sucking through a straw. We did glucose, and then we have sunlight. The plant's leaves trap sunlight. Plants need this light to stay alive and grow. So photosynthesis <coughs> needs food to survive. Uh, they make their plants make their food using photosynthesis, and photosynthesis is what is a plant as part of the plant that traps energy from sunlight with its leaves. It also takes up water from its roots and carbon dioxide gas from the air. Um, the plant uses the sun to convert water and carbon dioxide into a sugary substance, glucose, which is carbohydrates. It's so yummy. Why do carbohydrates have to be so good? And the plant uses this sugar, this, the carbohydrate, the glucose, as a food to help it stay alive and grow.